Now we can design any number of jobs, but it can take us hours to to uh, document to, to pro produce the documentation for jobs properly if we have to do it all manually because you'll, you'll if you have to define if you have to define what's the purpose of each job what's the description and things like what what are the components used in each job what is the schemas and how they are all bringing together what are the properties you have configured if we have to do all this manually think about it it can take us hours to produce documentation around a job uh, properly if we have to do it manually but having said that um, if you if we have configured our job properly in talent so when we are when we are designing our job if we are designing it properly and we are defining each and every bit properly let's say if when we design a job and we create a job if we have defined a purpose and a description if we have filled a, filled in all the all the all the columns and then if we are labeling our components properly and we are setting all the properties talent can generate all that documentation for us automatically with the click of a button so it, it is while we are designing the jobs it is generating it is saving all that documentation in the background by itself so all we will have to do at the end is extract that uh, documentation with a click of a button so so let's jump in jump into talent and see that in action so i've got the steps here on my screen but i'll i'll, I'll take you through all the steps in action on my talent screen so let's switch over to talent so let's say i wanted to generate documentation of um, let's say this t unite demo job so all i have to do so when we create a new job so when we create a new job we have to go right click and create job so when we fill in all these details purpose description of a job all these get recorded at the time of documentation and when we when we pull out our documentation all these will be populated if we have filled in if we have filled in properly uh, all the all the columns we have filled in properly so let's see that in action if i need to generate documentation for a job let's say this one all i have to do is right click on this one and go generate doc as html so i'll click on this and then that that will generate a zip file so i need to produce i need to provide it uh, a path where it can save that zip file so i'll give the same sample data path sample data folder path and i will put that here and i will just go finish so that's it that that's all we have to do i just have to give a path file path file and path name and that should generate the file and when i go to the sample data directory now i should have a zip file with the tunite demo and all i have to do in this case is to the first thing that i need to do is to right click and extract all the all the contents of the zip file so that should that's extracted the uh, that extracted the contents here in this folder so i'll go into that folder and inside that folder i will have a, an html document and this html document is what we have uh, what talent has generated as the documentation so if i right click and open this in my internet explorer and we can go through the documentation there so this is the this is the documentation template that talent generates by default for all the jobs uh, so if i go through it and on the top we have got the project description in which project uh, this job is, is a part of so if we have given all the description and name and everything it will populate everything accordingly then we've got the description of the job itself so this is the name of the job then this is the purpose and the description that i had stated while creating the job then i've got a preview of of the job flow itself so that gives a gives us a real good picture and then if i had laid build all these components properly then it will show us that this is what each of the component is doing 
and then in here it also shows me the settings for the for all the jobs so one of the property we spoke about earlier was this multi-thread execution so it gives me whether or which of the property have been set as true or false then it also gives us the settings of the context so context is another key topic that we'll go through in our coming videos but if we had any context set up in this job it will show us the details for those contexts as well in this case we don't have any so it, it, it's not showing us any then it shows us the details of each of the components that are that are listed in the job that are used in the job then for each of the component it's going through in details and telling us for this first 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 component what are the properties that have been set up that have been been configured for each of the components and then it's showing us the schema what, what are the columns we are using in each of the components and so on so in each and then you see it's going through each of the components and showing us the uh, the the properties and the schema details for each of the components so it is very detailed and if you think about it if i have had to generate this documentation myself manually for each of the components and to that great detail it would take me hours to do that and talent necessarily is doing it essentially in the background for ourselves automatically so it's 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 really a great feature if you want to use this as the documentation and keep it as uh, documentation and uh, if you wanted to refer to it for future purposes or if you want to share this with your team or IT team uh, I think it's a really handy feature uh, to to be able to generate documentation in a click of a button if you find this video helpful i would really appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel and share it with others who might find this valuable too thanks again and i'll see you in the next video